Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use if function in Excel. If formula takes three arguments. So let me show you how this works. I type if and I hit tab to auto complete the function. You can see it takes three arguments. First is a logical test where if analyzes a condition which returns either a true or a false. When it returns a true, you can specify a value that the formula should return. And if it returns a false, then again you can specify a value that it should return. So now let me show you how this works. I go and I select A2 and I say if this is greater than 10, which is a condition that would return a true or a false. And if this returns true, then give me right, else the formula should return wrong. And I hit enter and you can see this returns right because this condition a2 is greater than 10 is true a2 is 20 and 20 is greater than 10 what happens if I change this value if I put 5 here it returns wrong because now this condition is false and hence if returns the value for false now you can use if condition uh, again within a formula so you can use nested if where say you want to identify if this value is greater than 10 then it returns right and in case of false you can again use an if condition if this value is less than 0 and here return ok else return wrong and I hit enter and you can see it returns wrong because it first checks this condition is a2 greater than 10 it is not because a2 is 5 then it checks if a2 is less than 0 it is not because this is 5 which is greater than 0 so it comes here and it returns wrong so you can see I have used two if conditions within a single formula in if you can use 64 if conditions within one if formula so if your number of conditions exceed uh, 50 64 then it would return an error so let me show you how this formula works again uh, I type minus 1 here and it returns ok because it checks this condition this is false it comes here and checks this condition which comes out to be true and hence it returns ok so this is how this formula works now let me show you what happens when you omit one of the conditions so if I type if a2 is greater than 10 then I have to specify a, a value if the condition is true but I do not specify anything I just press again comma and then I specify the value for false condition and I hit enter Oops. I hit enter and this returns wrong because as of now minus 1 it analyzes this condition and it sees minus 1 is not greater than 10 so it goes to the wrong but what if this is actually greater than 10 so I put 20 here and you can see it returns a 0 so whenever you omit a condition for true this would return a 0 now what if you do not have this comma what you just have one condition let me show you how it works so I type if a2 is less than 10 then give me right and I hit enter you can see that this condition is false so this is not a true condition and it checks for the values for false so it analyzes its condition it sees this is false but it only has the value for right it does not have the value if false and hence it returns false but what if you don't want to return a false you want it to return a zero like the previous formula so you can just copy this formula here and instead of leaving it blank just put a comma here and hit enter and it will return a zero so Excel reads this it 
analyzes this condition it goes here and sees that there is a condition for true and in condition of false I have left it blank and so it takes that blank converts it to in zero and returns it but if I do not type this comma here it would return false so this is how if condition works in Excel I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day